Because we probably wear a lot of lingerie. I don't. My only lingerie, seriously, is from my wedding night. Is that bad? Wow. Wow. I have just never really gotten, you know, I think as I was, at that time, Victoria's Secret was like the place to buy your laundry, right. your, um, your laundry. Lingerie. Buy laundry. Lingerie. And I, um, the funny thing is I took my dad out to get John's lingerie with me. Is that funny? What do guys wear for lingerie? What are you talking about? Well, at the time, Victoria's Secret had a guy's section. That was 17 years ago. They had a guy's section. Who and so they had like, like leopard? No, they had like, you know, silk. Silk um, pants. Like Hugh Hefner pants. Like yeah. Hugh Hefner jammies, yeah. Yeah. They had the, just the bottoms. It was just the bottoms. You yeah. wear it with your t-shirt or whatever. But they had the bottoms. I thought, you know, it's no fair that I have to stare at BBDs and he gets to stare at something hot. It'd be nice to have some silky pants is what we call them. Silky pants. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So anyway, my dad came with me. He was such a good sport. I think I wrote an article about all so the things you, my dad so has done with me. Dad... He, my dad bought my prom dress with me. Yeah. My dad bought me my first bra, and he went to go get the lingerie for my husband. Never thought that was weird until later. When you I didn't think that... it was weird, or you didn't think I it was never weird. thought any of those yeah. things were strange until later, and now I think, I mean, what an honor for a father to get to do those things. That's a really big deal. My very mm -hmm. first prom, and my first bra, and my husband's first lingerie. It's strange. Mm -hmm. But he didn't act like that was weird or anything. He was a totally good sport and went in there with me. But anyway, lingerie for women, then, at least in Victoria's Secret, if it was really pretty, it had all the lace and it was itchy. Oh, so right. It's like you're going to wear it under so an outfit. Hey. hey. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't meth addicts scratch themselves a lot? Say, hey. I don't know. I don't have a lot of meth addict friends. Oh. Hmm. I don't know where I heard that. <laughs> Google it. Maybe I Googled it one time. Maybe. Rash, end up with meth attic. So anyway, all my um, lingerie was itchy, so it never sounded good to buy lingerie. Mm -hmm. And it's not like John's like, oh, you should get some lingerie. He doesn't really ever say that. So I don't really own any. Yeah. In fact, I don't own any except for from my wedding, and that would be comical if I put it on now. You still keep it? I 16, still have it. 16, yeah, I've got 17 a drawer. years later. I think I've got a drawer. Put it on tonight. <laughs> I'm serious. You wouldn't recognize what it was from. I bet. Yeah, I know. That's why you should put it on at night. That'd be hilarious. Do you have lingerie? Mm -hmm. I mean, I did. I had it for my wedding, but I think I gave it away. You remember what a huge you were thinking, oh, well, I need, like, a lot of lingerie. I don't think I thought I, that. My bridal shower got tons of lingerie. And some stuff was nasty. <laughs> nasty. My favorite thing at my bridal shower was that, um, well, I guess it was my bachelorette party. My sister-in-law, Catherine, brought me a thong and when you pressed on the little heart on the front it mm -hmm. did the wedding march oh I think I had one of those too she wrapped it up from my mom-in-law and said it was from her wait what she wrapped up the thong oh, and, and said, said it was from your mother -in -law? yeah yeah did and your mother-in-law die she was dying because Catherine said I'm gonna say it's from you and she's like no no, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Of course, I've known them forever by then, right, so I would have right. totally known it was not from her. Right. But I was like, oh my gosh, that's so nice that Barbara just sent a gift for me. And then I opened it up and I'm like, Catherine. Yeah, but I thought that was hilarious. So to this day, I'm like, you I still, still have it. wear it. I still wear it. <laughs> I tell her. She's like, I did not give those to you. <laughs> just good. Good that's to give her a hard time. I don't think I could buy my daughter-in-law lingerie. <laughs> I, I guess we'd have to be super close because then I'd be picturing her mm -mm. with my son looking at mm -mm. Like, no I don't think I could do that no I gift certificate I could do that gift certificate to Victoria's Secret maybe yeah I could maybe see taking her in to get waxed <laughs> if she was hairy yeah like what if she unibrow or you never wanted to tell her or mustache <gasps> you never know Nipple hair. So, so <laughs> it's a subtle way to say, take it off. Take take the hair off. Just get it off, uh, off yeah. of there. It's so interesting. Why did my mother in law give me a gift certificate for $100 for a waxing? <laughs> oh. Yeah. Laser. Laser. I would laser. Laser. 